Hey, this is the Irvins. It is uh, last week of March. Here we are in our strange new world. And uh, we are just wanting to give some word of encouragement. We're all here. We're sane. We're doing okay. We're trying to stay active. In fact, we're staying very active. Um, been trying to do a lot of things, a lot more things as a family. Um, Joel and I have been running. Jillian and Joan will share more things. And um, I want to share a verse. It's kind of been a theme verse for me during this time. First Peter chapter 3 says, Do not fear what they fear. Do not be frightened. But in your hearts set apart Christ as Lord. So I like that verse. This is Peter's encouragement to disciples. Don't fear. Do not be frightened. Just make Jesus Lord. Do fun things. One thing Jillian and Joel and I have been doing is binge watching a little bit on stranger things because that's appropriate because this is the strangest thing i've ever seen the coronavirus so we're just doing different things like that and uh let me kick it to jillian next to share um i mean school-wise things are pretty much the same since jill and i are both homeschooled we're still busy with school that still keeps us pretty busy and so we're not Board necessarily. <laughs> um, looking forward to graduation. Definitely feeling senioritis, especially since not hanging out with the friends, just doing school. So, um, and then yeah, we've been outside a lot, um, doing walks. Our dog is very excited that we're all quarantined home and just gets to hang out with them all day. Dogs are fired up. They're the big winner. We did some um, bike trips earlier today, too, and got up high for that. Uh, and I've been enjoying some um, just more quiet time. I'm trying to take advantage of reading more books um, just for pleasure reading and also taking advantage of some time online with the Douglas Jacoby site, uh, something I've been wanting to do for months. So I've started one of his studies and really been enjoying that. You know, Douglas Jacoby can be very um, intellectually challenging. So that's been um, uh, been fun to do that. So um, yeah, making the most of this time. Yeah. Well, I've been um, trying to run and just do something active every day, just kind of keep myself busy. Um, uh, but the other the other day I was biking uh, I was biking home it was like raining and I was just kind of looking around uh, I, I like the birds and the squirrels you know they're just kind of going around about their business like nothing's changed for them um, so I don't know I was, I was thinking it reminded me of Matthew six twenty six it says look at the birds of the air they do not sow or reap or store away in barns and yet your heavenly Father feeds them are you not much more valuable than they I, I just thought. You know, there's this huge virus. Like, we should still, like, enjoy life. You know, like, God mm-hmm. still loves us the same. Yeah. I don't know if anything, to know that when we leave our house, we could get a deadly virus, you know, just kind of makes us enjoy life more to know that you know, it, it's not guaranteed. I, but uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Thank you. Cool. Well, that is us. Love from the Urbans. Stay well out there. Stay well. Get outside. Enjoy God's yeah. creation. Amen. Hi, we're the Pages, and we're just trying to send our video from <laughs> to <laughs> give a word of joy and encouragement uh, to the others uh, that are in quarantine and uh, uh, may be watching this video. Or, or not watching. <laughs> or <laughs> if they not. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're, uh, <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say now. <laughs> if we're going to, we're just trying to give a word of encouragement to everyone who uh, is watching the video, and we're just uh, want bringing to say some, thanks. Sorry, bringing some joy in an uh, in, uh, uncomfortable situation. Uh, yes. There and you we go. We just want to say that we, <laughs> we're praying with you, we're praying for you. Uh, and we're just uh, being glad when we can get out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting ready to sing a song for you. 
Uh-oh. Called, <laughs> called Someday. And it's a new it's a it's a new version. So, you know, just go along with us. Okay? Okay. Someday, someday, someday we'll be out of quarantine. <laughs> someday, someday. Someday, but <laughs> not today. <laughs> now you want to add this? Go ahead. But we love you guys. We hope that brought a smile to your face. Yes. And <laughs> happy we <love> new year. <laughs> <laughs> and we wish you the best for all. Merry Christmas yeah. and happy new year. Hey everyone, it's the Harris. Hope you're doing well. We miss you all. I uh, just wanted to give you a little update on what we're doing at home. We've been going on a lot more runs. A lot of fun. We've learned how to make John's mom's world famous chocolate chip cookies. We've been spoiling our dog and taking him on lots of walks. We've even been making TikTok videos. Are we too old for that? Teens, you let us know. Look, I just flipped the switch. Flip, flip. I don't know nobody. So we've been singing and making music. Uh, that's something else we've been doing. Leah's been learning keyboards, so we're getting a little taste of uh, goodness of God. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> song I repeat I love the lyrics it says because all my life you have been faithful all my life you have been so so good with every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God and it's such a good reminder that no matter what's going on in the world in our lives that God is still good he's still constant and that will never change and I wanted to read a scripture um, it's Psalms 34 verse 8 it says taste and see that the Lord is good Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Yeah, I think that scripture is really good uh, for us because we need to be reminded how God is always good. I think we get bombarded right now with all this like stress and, and, and fear and the news, bad news. But we need to just take a step back and, and, and remember and be reminded of God's goodness because that never changes. It never changes no matter what's happening in the world. And I hope that uh, that that scripture and that song reminds you of that we love you all we miss you we're praying for all of you and we can't wait to be together again